Explain first exactly what Social Flow is, Joe. Yeah, Vani, we're a, so, a software platform that most of the big media companies use to get their content out to Facebook, Twitter, and other social networks. So exactly what you said. And media companies such as Bloomberg produce massive amounts of content. And that's one of the things I don't think people really appreciate is how much media content is actually on a platform like Facebook. So in a way, I mean, you act as the middleman between the media companies and Facebook. Should Facebook be taking the flack for you know the, the stuff that goes wrong on its platform? Well, certainly it's a serious issue. So I, I definitely think there's a lot of misunderstanding of the Cambridge Analytica scandal and broadly you know Mark Zuckerberg's testimony I think is designed to try to tease out what's real and, and what's not real so I think Facebook definitely has to take responsibility it's got two billion people as Mark Zuckerberg has said in his prepared remarks you know I built the platform and I take responsibility for it so I do think they need to take responsibility and, and that's what this testimony in front of Congress is designed to do you don't think though that it's going to dent the business in any way in terms of advertising or in terms of what people even publish to Facebook, do you? I don't honestly think it's going to have that big of an impact. You know, Facebook in its last quarterly earnings generated nearly 13 billion dollars in revenue and advertisers advertise on Facebook because they get good results uh, and there's two billion people there. So yes, there's going to be some short-term implications. I think there will be some profitability impacts that are sort of moderate. But frankly, you know, one of the things that happens when you get into a regulatory situation like this is regulation often benefits the incumbents who are big enough and well established enough to deal with the regulation it's the young innovative upstarts that maybe uh, you know ha have a, a harder time after the regulation takes effect Jim when we talk regulation and we keep talking about it what are we looking at and over what sort of time frame yeah, that's a great question, Mark. I know you're familiar with the GDPR in the EU. That takes effect next month. And so I think that's going to be a really interesting test case to see how the U.S. reacts. And is it a very GDPR-like uh, type of, of regulation, or, which in many ways doesn't necessarily fit uh, the, w the way the U.S. likes to approach regulation? I, I think it will probably take 6, 12, 18 months. Just, that's just my sense. You, you may have heard that we have a little bit of a polarized political uh, situation here in the States right now. <laughs> You talk about the fixes that Facebook's made, Jim, and they're happening pretty fast. Are there unintended consequences of that? Yeah, there are. It's interesting. You know, we deal with media companies, as I was just talking about. And so normally Facebook is quite deliberate and quite methodical before it, it launches changes. It tests them out with small groups of users, and it makes sure that what they expect to happen is, is what's going to happen. Of late, especially in the past weeks, we've seen them roll out changes much, much more quickly. Uh, obviously, in r response to sort of the, the situation that's going on right now, without nearly the degree of sort of uh, thoughtful, uh, you know, planning that you would have on a, on a normal case. And, and, and in many ways, I think that makes sense. I mean, it they are very much taking this situation quite seriously. Jim, uh, there was a great story on the Bloomberg, which I can't find. Uh, here it is, yeah. Zuckerberg needs to emulate America's least hated banker. It's a gadfly piece. And essentially, it, it, it says he should emulate Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan rather than, uh, rather than Goldman Sachs, you know, Lloyd Blankfein, when they faced congressional testimony after the financial crisis. H how do you expect Zuckerberg to come across today? And what would you advise him? him. Uh, I ex both expect and I would advise him to appear and be contrite, right? I think that's what people want to see is contrition and, and even humility. I, I think if he comes across as a glib, uh, you know, sort of tech CEO who knows all of the answers, that's probably not what people want to see. And, and I think, you know, step A is to take responsibility for the problems, and he's clearly done that in his prepared remarks. I expect him to do that again in, in the testimony today. And, and B, I think it's okay for him to admit that they don't necessarily have all the answers because these are really complicated problems, right? Social networks are in inherently social. That's the whole point of them. Yet we're talking about privacy, which is almost the exact opposite of social. H how do you expect Facebook or anybody to resolve that? That's a tough question. But it also has something very much in its favor, and that's that lawmakers, at least some of them, are wary of chilling investment in the platforms. John Thune today telling Bloomberg, you know, we have to wait and see. Does the European model undermine the work that companies do, the good work? But that's the problem. Good work and bad work go hand in hand sometimes. Right. And I think that's why I'm thinking 6, 12, 18 months. It's going to take some time to sort this out and I don't see a lot of appetite for people to sort of jump in uh, in a bipartisan way to regulate in a very prescriptive way so I, I suspect uh, you know what what Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg hope to accomplish today is to sort of you know uh, go and face the, the the public and and have an accounting of what happened and what didn't happen and then engage in a productive dialogue as they move forward